Hi, a student came up to me with uh, having some troubles with, with from this book right over here. It's by Larson, um, Pre-Calculus with Limits. It's a pretty popular book among high school for pre-calculus, whether it's honors or regular college prep. Anyway, so the question that uh, we're going to go over is uh, Chapter 3, Section 2 from Larson, The Yellow Book. Uh, we're going to be going over definition logs. What is a, a log? Uh, log state to an exponential state. We're going to be going over base 10 versus base E. Uh, starting on page 203 is your homework. Uh, first of all, I just wrote this out, part out. Uh, this is called the exponential state. Uh, excuse me, E exponential state. Uh, so you have base A mm -hmm. of the number B equals C, if that makes any sense. Again, base A, you have to read it that way. Base, this is the base we're looking at because it has the exponent. Base A to the exponent B equals the number C. Now, this is called the exponential state or exponential form. A lot of books call this form. I like to call it state because it's a state of being uh, for this equation. To go into the logarithmic state, uh, base A is log base A, there it is right there, the little guy, of the number C equals the exponent B. So we kind of have a question because the variable might be at the exponent. We can actually bring it to the other side of the equation by using a logarithmic state. And so you can go from an exponential state to a log state. What state are we in? It depends. If you're lost, you don't know what state you're in. If you know where you are, Hopefully, you're from California, you know what, just, what state you're in. So, hopefully that will help. This is the crux. This is everything. This is what we start off with before we can learn every, anything else. By the way, this is page one, just to let you know. Okay. Uh, so, what is base 10? So, if you go log, uh, and there's nothing there, uh, and it's kind of empty right there, then that means this is going to be base 10. I like to use uh, red for that one. If it's log base 10, the way we read it is we read it common log. Okay, so if you say common log, it means base 10. If you use what's called base e, e is just a number, e is approximately 2.718 2818288 dot dot dot. You can look it up if you want. I memorized it uh, just to let you know. So log base C, the way we write that is uh, natural log ln. The way we read it is natural log. Okay, so ln means base E, common log means base 10. These are the two things that you're going to have to know. So let's actually start off with some of the problems from the book on page 203. All right. Um, this is page two, um, starting on page 203. We're going to start with number one first. Uh, log base four of 64 is equal to three. Log base four of 64, that's how you read that, is equal to three. We're going to change it into what state? Uh, we're going to change it into exponential state. So to change this to exponential state, we always start with a base. 4 to the third power equals the number 64. And there's your answer. Okay? And that, that was easy. Um, let's try uh, number 7 now. New type of problem. Uh, I can't read it. Uh, write the logarithmic equation in exponential form or exponential state. So let's look at it. Natural log of 1 is equal to 0. Uh, let's see what happens. If we write natural log, again, it's Nat, uh, natural log is log base e of 1 is equal to 0. So we're going to rewrite natural log as log base e. To change from log rhythmic state to an exponential state, we start with the base again. e to the number, which is the exponent, is equal to 1. Is that true? Oh, definitely. Any number to the 0 power is always 1. So that checks out. See, check. Let's try 13 now. Um, 
write the exponential for, uh, equation in logarithmic form. Okay, so 5 to the 3 equals 125. If I go 5 times 5 times 5, it is obviously 125. So just to let you know, it's in the exponential state. We're going to change to a logarithmic state. Log base 5 of the number 125 is equal to 3, the exponent. There it is right there. A lot of these problems, you shouldn't have any problems now. Uh, we're going to skip 19 to 24 because you should be able to do that on your calculator. Uh, let's try 25 now. 25 is a really cute little problem. Um, evaluate the function indicated with uh, the value of x without using any, any calculator. So the function looks something like this. f of x is equal to uh, log base 2 of x. Okay? And when x equals, I'm going to just do one of them at x equals 16. So we're going to plug in 16 for x here and here. So f of 16, whatever the function tells you to do, is log base 2 of 16. And that's what we're looking for, right? So what we'd like to do is, don't, we don't even have to worry about this portion, the left side, all you have to do is worry about this portion. This is what we're looking for, this question mark. So since it's in the logarithmic state, we're going to change it to the exponential state. So how do we do that? We start with the base. The base is here. 2 to what power? Question mark equals 16. Well, we can say 2 to the first is 2, 2 to the second is 4, 2 to the third power is 2 to the third equals 8, 2 to the fourth power equals 16. Oh, it must be that question mark must equal 4. 2 to the fourth power equals 16. I'm going to show you another way to resolve this without guessing check. Guessing check is a really good way for SAT, but not quite good enough for math. So what we do here is 2 to the what power? equals, we're going to have to change 16 to 2 to uh, some kind of power. Well, we know that 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. If the base or this, if the base is the same, right over here, if the base is the same, then the exponents must equal, so the question mark must equal 4. Same type of process, but this is the way the math books want you to do it in the next sections. Okay, so so we could have used guess and check, but I'd rather have it solved if possible. You should be able to do some of these problems. Uh, let's try 25, uh, uh, a little bit different problem this time, because it gets a little bit tricky now. Um, let's try uh, 25 again. The function looks something like this. It's equal to log base 2 of x. This time at x equals uh, 1 fourth. Okay, so we're going to plug in 1 fourth in here. Log base 2 of 1 fourth is equal to what? Right? So we do the same thing. We change it from an exponent, a logarithmic state to an exponential state. This is going to be base 2 right there. To what power? We call it x instead of question mark, it's a little bit, no, uh, we're mathematicians, we like to use variables, equals one-fourth. Well, we know that this is the same thing as one over two squared, right? Four uh, is two squared. To move this up to the numerator, it becomes two to the minus two power. That's how we make that, uh, going from the denominator to the numerator. You learned about this last time, or should have learned about it. So we have 2 to the x equals, you notice the same base, right? Negative 2, which means that x should equal negative 2. Hopefully, you should be able to answer uh, when x equals uh, 1,000 and 1,000, one, 1, and for x equals 10,000, etc., etc. Okay? Um, let's do, uh, let me see. It says on number 29, use a calculator. We're not going to use a calculator, so we're going to skip 29 to 32. Uh, let's try 33 now. A little bit different type of question, 33. 
It says log base 7 of x is equal to log base 7 of 9. Well, uh, this is a pretty simple question in that since the bases are the same here as this, it should be somewhat helpful that uh, this should equal this. So by our logic, x should equal 9. This is what's called a natural law, and here's a natural log. So log base a of b equals log base a of c. If the bases are the same, then b must equal c. So we're going to be using this later on to try to solve things out. And it's kind of natural that that works. I mean, if you plug in 9 in here, log base 7 of 9 should equal log base 7 of 9. Okay. So it's kind of intuitive in that sense. Uh, I believe, uh, how many questions were there? Uh, 1 through 41. Um, we're going to stop at uh, this. And I know that we have uh, one number 113 and 128. We'll probably go over that in our lesson. But hopefully this will have helped you out uh, or helped uh, lots of students out with logarithmic to exponential states. Thanks. Bye.